this is my old gaming PC. Now, the term old is totally being destroyed here because in, it's just the one I used prior to the one I use am using now. This has an Intel Core i7-9800X, and it had a 1080 Ti, then a Radeon 7, then a Vega 64, but basically, my graphics card situation is really weird, it, but that's size the point. So it, it, was, it was top of the line. It was definitely a great system, and at the time I built it, I actually made a video called Why I Chose the 9800X Over the 3900X. That video did not age well because now I have chosen the 3900X over the 9800X after spending, oh, what is it, $500 on the 9800X or something like that. But that's not entirely what this video is about. We're not going to be comparing them yet. But what I did when I built this PC is I took a 9800X and while buying it, I was like, oh, it doesn't come with a cooler. I mean, look at how tiny this box is. There's no cooler in here. So I, I quickly, on the way out of the Micro Center, grabbed this, uh, what is this, the Hyper 212 Evo, Evo RGB. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice cooler. Problem is that it's too thick, I guess, and it, I could never close this case, but that wasn't really a problem. Who cares about closing a case anyway? The side panel's like half broken because you have to keep gluing on the sides, whatever. Um, and I was air cooling a Intel, what I, I call it Extreme Edition. Apparently it's not a sh Extreme Edition. It's an X processor. It's not Extreme Edition because it's not XE, but whatever. Basically, it's a 9800X, and I put an air cooler on it uh, like a dum-dum. And at one point, I had got it to like 4.7 gigahertz wall in game. So it's not an all-core overclock. It's more or less just like a four-core boost clock uh, of 4.7 gigahertz. And I was like, well, if I can do that on air, what I really should have done from the beginning, this is what this video is about, is I should have liquid cooled it. It's a it's in a case that has a ton of radiator support, uh, and I'm not talking about custom liquid cooling. I'm talking about just like any kind. The 3900X, I should maybe custom liquid cool that with the Poseidon whatever. Um, it's got one of these um, Cooler Master ML240Rs, and I just went to Micro Center and I picked up my go-to, and this is totally an advertisement that is I'm not sponsored or anything, but I I would I condone this product. I should say. This is the ML240L, my go-to and my favorite liquid cooler. I have, this is I think the third or fourth one I've bought. Um, I bought my friend a PC, I, I used one of these. I have one of these, I'm cooling a Threader Pro with it. Like I just, they're, they're inexpensive and they work, okay? I put one of these on the 7700K, brought my temps down 20 degrees, so they are awesome. Um, and you can get them for, I think I got this for like 75 bucks, which is, you know, it's expensive for a cooler, but for a liquid cooler, that's actually relatively cheap. So, it's brand new. I did just open it to grab some cables. But it, it's a simple design. You know, it's just... Ooh. And it's got some RGB. It does come with RGB fans. What more could you need if I don't drop the whole thing? So, you know, it's it's very simple, but it's it's a liquid cooler. It's an AIO. It's super easy. I should have been using this from the beginning. And I regret that I didn't because it would have made my system better. And I probably wouldn't have had to buy a 3900X. Though the 4 extra course does great for Premiere Pro uh, when rendering in now in 4K again. So we do get these RGB fans. And I think they've updated the fans. I do have to check. I think they updated the fans since the first revision of this. I don't know. They just, they look newer. I'll have to check later with my old model. But basically, um, and, and they just... It just works. So I'm going to install this and we're just going to turn on the system in a separate video. You know I do benchmarks in separate videos to try to maintain a shorter length and to get more videos out. That's the full honesty reason. It's to get more videos out to not make more money because I really don't make any money, but to get more views total and to make it look like I have more content than I actually do. Uh, so now that we've got the honesty portion out of the way, I'm going to get this installed and I kind of want to go through the process with you guys. So that's kind of what this video is going to be. It's going to be installing liquid cooling. Now for the graphics card, I'm going to go with the Vega 64 liquid cooled because so we can have three radiators on top. That's for later. I don't actually know what the mounting is for LGA 2066. That's the socket we're using. I think it should be bar shaped. Ah, 20, 2011. I call the bag for 2011. They're like, oh, it's four screws and also here's the thermal paste. How do I mount this? Uh... I mean, there's probably, I was about to say, wow, real lack of instructions. There's only a lack of instructions because I'm choosing not to read them. So, I mean, I've used this same exact cooler 15 times over. What am I doing? Where's the cooler? There it is. It just works. Unlike RTX, it just works. You know, the one thing is a little confusing is when you don't use directions. And the second time I, may, I used one of these for my friend uh, Ryzen 5 3600, 
Um, don't worry, I overclocked it, so it's not like... Don't forget to peel the bottom. So it's not like I was using liquid coolant for no reason. Though honestly, I probably could have went stock and saved money. Because I bought him half his parts. But um, I installed this incorrectly. And you're supposed to put on the bracket on top and screw in from the bottom. And I did the opposite, which, if you can't tell, creates a mounting pressure issue, meaning there is no mounting pressure because there's no mounting happening. And why isn't this going on correctly? I always forget the, like, there's a name for the tubes on an AIO, and I forget them every time when I go to record the videos. Oh, shoot, is this upside down? No. I'm saying no preemptively. They might be. There we go. So now, um... I'm assuming the LGA 2011 will work fine on the LGA 2066. Who knows? Who cares? So, thicker side down. But they want you to buy these $400 motherboards. The only reason I built an Intel, uh, Intel X299 platform system was because I got, I got a deal on a motherboard. $180, how much I paid for this uh, Asus Tough uh, Mark I. Motherboard, which looks great. It's an awesome motherboard. But in terms of getting it from a person, it wasn't used, but it was from somebody, and I had to drive to New Jersey to get it from New York, the trash state. Um, realistically, not worth it at all. Um, but whatever. I was like, oh, that's a, that's a great deal. These go for like 300 But like, even new, like, the, it was, there's never a great deal. When you, Why am I looking at directions? I know exactly what I'm doing. Because I'm a genius. I've never installed this on 2066, so. If I do it wrong, I'm no longer a genius. Now, let's see. How do we want to do this? No, I don't want it to be upside down. But it might have to be upside down. No, it doesn't. I lied. I'm so, so smart. Oh, does it go sideways? Hold on. Is, is 2066 sideways mounted? Oh my god, it is. It's not straight mounted at all, unless it is, unless it's it's square. It's a square, it literally does not matter. Can I even mount this at all? Am I like... Am I being dumb here? And this doesn't actually mount. <sighs> I knew that was going to happen eventually. Ah, yeah, I knew it. I didn't know it, obviously. They was upside down. I was crushing my CPU to death. Thank God I didn't just, like, I was... <laughs> so I had a choice there. Read the manual, or try to crush, the, or just push until it mounted correctly. And Thankfully, I chose the not-as-stupid method. Because I was about to smash the hell out of that. If you're dissuaded from using liquid cooling because it's a little hard, then just go buy an Xbox. Not enough PC YouTubers say that. And that's like, and I say Xbox because it's like, syllable wise, I think it's shorter than PS4. Xbox, PS4. I think it's 3 verse 2. So I take Xbox. But, um, like, not enough YouTubers say, just buy an Xbox, just buy a console. Like, they're amazing pieces of engineering and hardware and equipment. And they are just computers with special OSs on them. And nothing more. Like, it's not like they're anything special. People think that they're special. They're not. I can get an Xbox secondhand for $100 and run AAA games at playable frame rates. I know because they wouldn't be released on Xbox if they weren't playable frame rates. At the very least. I can't get a PC for 100 bucks and play anything except for Minesweeper. I should have mounted the radiator first and just called it a day. You know, I get asked, like, what's the hardest part? And I, I, whenever I say I get asked, I, I, I'm lying. I'm, I'm flat out lying. I never get asked any of these questions. I usually get asked, when's the giveaway end? And, and stupid questions like that, which obviously I signed up for when I started giving people free computers on the Internet for views, bunnies, and clicks and stuff like that. But, um, <laughs> but let's pretend that people actually care about my content. And I get asked a lot, you know, what's the hardest part of building PCs? And my response to that is losing my screwdriver every two seconds because I just place it down wherever I want. I'm like, oh, it's on top of the computer I'm not even building. 
All right. Hopefully we have enough thermal paste on that, and we'll just, sure, as long as the glass can still go on. We should mount the fans to it first. I always forget about the fans. I never remember the fans of, like, the, this. So they go on that side. Always remember to plan out your fan cables before you install it. Because I never do, and I always regret it, because I've got fan cables that I've got to use ties and stuff. I never use zip ties in my builds, because mostly, as long as I can shove in the cables and close it, I call it completed. But the problem is that, if you don't plan out your cables, you're going to have to use zip ties to make it so they're not hanging and hitting into your fans, and you're scared. Dude, the amount of times I've been scared by two things. Me accidentally putting my finger in a fan and I like back off and I hit something or me or one of my cables going into a fan I'm like what's that there we go and you this case got really boring really quick and I don't know why like I was like oh cool glass and I was like oh shoot glass people think glass is fun it's not fun glass is not fun glass is not a fun time I'm gonna just do all the screws cuz I'm pretty sure this is a permanent thing and uh, permanent as in not like I'm gonna keep it permanently but like permanent as in like when, I mean, I'm going to list this, by the way. I'm, I am I have the 9800X actually listed on a site on Let Go, actually. So, I'm like I said, if when I sell something like this heavy, someone's coming to pick it up. I ain't, I ain't doing all that shipping garbage. But, um, like, I'll, I'll list this, you know, probably for, like, 1500 with, you know, the Vega 64 and everything. Call it, you know, pretty, it's a pretty beastly PC. You know, 64 gigs of RAM, I almost forgot to mention. This was the first rig where I actually purposely put 64 gigs of RAM. Um, Threadripper, I don't know if Threadripper, Threadripper might have had this beforehand. Alright, we well can do every screw but one, and we'll call that a success. Now, I'm going to turn off the camera to save recording space and battery. I'm going to do the wiring, then I'm going to come back and install the graphics card. Yeah, that took like two minutes. I forgot I like basically pre-did all of my cables and stuff. Um, because, surprisingly enough, the cables are super easy. It's just like a hub. You know, it's called cable management because you manage to get them in and close it. Boom. Science. Now, what are we using for our graphics card? We already know. Vega 64, liquid cooled edition. My favorite graphics card ever by far up until now until I get a new one. Where are the mounting screws? Do, do, do. You guys know I love this card, and I got two of them for the price of one. And only don't mention every two seconds. So I actually, I bought one of these for 400 on Let Go a while ago. And that's this one. The perfect, pristine tin condition. Works every time one. And then I meant to buy, I bought one beforehand, but I got a refund. And through a, um, so the person who I bought the first one from, the one I bought on eBay, meant to scam me. He was clearly trying. He sent it to him sh himself. I made a whole video about it. And then he tried again. But he accidentally shipped it to me after I got a re- I told him, and I went through all the process. I ended up getting it for free, but it was kind of, like, he said, pristine condition, brand new. I got it. It had a few scratches. The fan made a weird noise. It did have kind of a problem where it, like, black screened every once every couple hours, which is honestly fine, but you have to say that in your description. And I tried sending it back, and it just got no response, so I just kept it. It's mine. So, Whatever. I'll take the free graphics card, and let's, of course, mount our radiator. This case is perfect for it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Do we have the room? If we don't, I'm going to be less than happy. We don't have the room. I bet I can make the room. Now, my radiators are facing different ways. I just noticed the fins are, but that's literally doesn't matter at all. Oh, can we, oh, we can't fit that under there. That's that's a little annoying how it obstructs, but it's tubes, man. Uh, let's connect our power. We used to have a cooler. We had these custom, these cables were so expensive, and I'm so mad I bought them. Like, what a waste of money custom cables are. Well, on a build where it's, like, not, like, themed. Like, I can understand, you know, you've got the money, you make a theme build, like I did a Razor build with green cable extensions and it would look like crap and I regret it entirely but um I don't understand what I did here. I, I got white cables for no reason. I even took a vote and everyone voted black and white and I was like, ah, oh, white's just as good. Let's put our 
side panels on. Now they say it's bad luck to put your panels on before boot testing, but I say, screw you. People who say that don't put 64 gigs of RAM in a PC that'll never use 64 gigs of RAM. On this glass, So I, um, the, this, at one time, I put the glass on, and at random, it just fell off the side. Oh, don't tell me. So I had to glue the glass onto the thing that holds it. Oh, it just closes. Hell yeah. A little bit of shoving happening, but that's fine. Let's turn this thing. I'm so excited. Let's turn it on. Actually, oh, you can see it's a reflection. But it's a good test to show that it indeed do doodly do close. Let's, um, let's, God, it's heavy. It's definitely not light. I don't know where I got these, but holy crap, this is thick. I mean, just look at the difference between this cable that I just randomly found and this one that's already plugged in. That's a thick boy. But where do I plug it in? I'm out of plugs. That's the problem. Let's plug it in over here. All right, let's uh, connect our graphics card to a display for once. Okay, this crappy little TV here that I... I have a video about a $200 streaming PC that I still have to make. Oh, if you're wondering about this thing that's plugged into the PC, this is a USB that lets you control the PC from, like, your phone, which is really stupid, but you can, like, turn it off, check your temps. Um, I don't even think I have it with me. But um, I need to get a keyboard, so I go into the BIOS. Let's test our front panel while we're at it. You can really tell how much effort and money I put into RGB on this system um, back in the day because those fans were $150 approximately if you include tax. I, at least we know water's flowing. I need to check temps in the BIOS though and it turned off. And it turned back on. Like I, I spent so much on RGB like this RAM I bought a bag with like 190 a kit, 200 a kit. Oh man, I, I even have a strip up there to light up the fans, which are also RGB. Is it turning off because of temps? I mean, it does this boot cycling like 99% of the boots. Oh, uh, there we go. Lights are on on the RAM. Should be mem o a o k. The VGA light is on. It is now off, and there's a green light. See, you know, if you're not gonna put it, oh, we got a boot. If you're not going to put a little screen, nice, it's booted. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. I'll turn you over a little bit so you can see. That's a little screen we're using. Um, what is our CPU temperature? So we got 9800X running at 26 degrees Celsius. That's what I like to see. Booyah. All right. Let's just look at this build. Can we just admire how beautiful this is? I know. So it's all RGB except for this red Radeon logo. I'll take it. This is honestly, and in 4K, just... It's a beautiful rig. Um, it's hilarious. I always say, like, I've run out of SSDs a lot. Um, this system, this whole, like, you know, $2,000 system, has a 120 gig SSD. I mean, it's more like 1500 I mean, let's just say 400 for the GPU. Yeah, it's about a $1,500 system. It's probably how much I'd put it up for, $1,500. bucks. i am not going to get paid that much for it. Definitely not. But I'm going to put it up for that much, and I'm not going to take anything less. But it is... Oh, we got the light strip working. It's just, and the RGB on top is working. And I can sync up all the RGB because I'm using RGB headers for everything. Oh, except for those stupid fans. They use that, that stupid proprietor. They use that IQ. Um, but everything else is synced up, so it's, it's super nice. Um, that's really it. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this. Obviously, it was a different kind of video. I do love just... Oh, I love this. I love this PC. It looks so much nicer now. And I'm actually... I'm going to overclock my CPU to whatever I can get it to. I'm hoping to get it to boost to 4.8 to 5. If I can get it to boost to 5 gigahertz on 2 cores or 4 cores in game, that's an absolute success. I'm going to put it up against my 3900X to see which one is the problem child. So, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.